Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves before we surrender our worries. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, feeling your body relax from head to toe. Imagine tension melting away with each exhale. Now, focus on your natural breath. There's no need to force it, just let it flow freely. As you breathe, feel yourself becoming centered and present. With each inhale, breathe in God's peace and presence. With each exhale, release any anxieties that may be weighing on you. Now, nestled in God's love, let's begin our prayer together. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Proverbs 1 verse 7 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Colossians 3 verse 16 Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Proverbs 8 verses 11 to 12 For wisdom is better than jewels, and all that you may desire cannot compare with her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. James 3 verse 17 But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Ephesians 1 verse 17 That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of Him. Proverbs 3 verse 13 Blessed is the one who finds wisdom, and the one who gets understanding. Luke 21 verse 15 For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which none of your adversaries will be able to expand or contradict. Proverbs 4 verse 7 The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom, and whatever you get, get insight. Romans 11 verse 33 Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are His judgments, and how inscrutable His ways! Proverbs 17 verse 27 Whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Colossians 2 verse 8 See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. Proverbs 16, verse 16. How much better to get wisdom than gold? To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. Proverbs 19, verse 20. Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. Proverbs 2, verse 6. For the Lord gives wisdom, 
from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Ecclesiastes 7 verses 1 to 29 A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for this is the end of all mankind, and the living will lay it to heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness of face the heart is made glad. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better for a man to hear the rebuke of the wise than to hear the song of fools. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 13 And we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 For the protection of wisdom is like the protection of money, and the advantage of knowledge is that wisdom preserves the life of him who has it. John 5 verse 30 I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30 And because of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Matthew 13 verse 11 And he answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven but to them it has not been given. Psalm 90 verse 12 So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Proverbs 13 verse 10 By insolence comes nothing but strife, but with those who take advice is wisdom. Proverbs 11 verse 2 When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. Proverbs 4 verse 5 Get wisdom, get insight, do not forget, and do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Proverbs 12 verse 15 The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to advice. Matthew 5 verse 22 But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to the hell of fire. Proverbs 29 verse 11 A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 16 Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 25 I turned my heart to know and to search out and to seek wisdom and the scheme of things, 
and to know the wickedness of folly and the foolishness that is madness. Proverbs 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not forsake her, and she will keep you. Love her, and she will guard you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom, and whatever you get, get insight. Psalm 111 verse 10 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Matthew 7 verse 24 Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Proverbs 19 verse 8 Whoever gets sense loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will discover good. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11 Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. Proverbs 3 verse 7 Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. James 3 verse 13 who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. John 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Proverbs 15 verse 12 A scoffer does not like to be reproved. He will not go to the wise. 1 John 2 verses 1 to 29 My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. Whoever says I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him, but whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. Colossians 2 verses 2 to 3 That their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. 1 Timothy 2 verse 4 Who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth? 1 Corinthians 1 verse 25 For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Proverbs 8 verses 22 to 23 the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts of old. Ages ago I was set up at the first before the beginning of the earth. 
Proverbs 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 1 verse 5. Let the wise hear and increase in learning and the one who understands obtain guidance. Proverbs 18 verse 2. A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. Proverbs 15 verse 33. The fear of the Lord is instruction in wisdom, and humility comes before honor. Proverbs 13 verse 1. A wise son hears his father's instruction, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. Proverbs 21 verse 5. The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. Psalm 37 verse 30. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks justice. Job 28 verse 28 And he said to man, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to turn away from evil is understanding. Job 12 verse 12 Wisdom is with the aged, and understanding in length of days. Hebrews 13 verse 15 Through him then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Luke 1 verse 37 for nothing will be impossible with God. Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Colossians 4 verses 5 to 6 Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. John 8 verse 32 And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Daniel 2 verse 23 to you, O God of my fathers, I give thanks and praise, for you have given me wisdom and might, and have now made known to me what we asked of you, for you have made known to us the king's matter. Isaiah 28 verse 29 This also comes from the Lord of hosts. He is wonderful in counsel and excellent in wisdom. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 10 Say not, Why were the former days better than these? For it is not from wisdom that you ask this. Ecclesiastes 2 verse 26 for to the one who pleases him God has given wisdom and knowledge and joy, but to the sinner he has given the business of gathering and collecting, only to give to one who pleases God. This also is vanity and a striving after wind. Proverbs 14 verse 29 Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who has a hasty temper exalts folly. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 25 
If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Colossians 1 verse 9 And so, from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Proverbs 23 verse 23 By truth and do not sell it by wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Proverbs 15 verse 22 Without counsel plans fail, but with many advisors they succeed. Proverbs 10 verse 23 Doing wrong is like a joke to a fool, but wisdom is pleasure to a man of understanding. Proverbs 10 verse 8 The wise of heart will receive commandments, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Matthew 7 verse 7 Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Isaiah 40 verse 28 Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Proverbs 9 verse 10 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Psalm 107 verse 43 Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let them consider the steadfast love of the Lord. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 Be sober-minded, be watchful, your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. 
Colossians 3 verse 23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 18. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you thinks that he is wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. Romans 12 verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. John 10 verse 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. Proverbs 8 verse 17 I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. James 1 verses 1 to 27 James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Galatians 3 verse 28 There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Proverbs 28 verse 26 Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. Proverbs 18 verse 15 An intelligent heart acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Matthew 7 verses 7 to 8 Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Proverbs 24 verse 14 Know that wisdom is such to your soul. If you find it, there will be a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Proverbs 17 verse 28 Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. Proverbs 11 verse 14 Where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors there is safety. 1 John 2 verse 16 For all that is in the world the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of leaf eyes, not from the Father, but is from the world. 
Ecclesiastes 7 verse 5 It is better for a man to hear the rebuke of the wise than to hear the song of fools. Revelation 1 verses 1 to 20 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. 1 John 2 verse 15 Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Proverbs 14 verse 1 the wisest of women builds her house, but folly with her own hands tears it down. Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Matthew 7 verse 8 For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Deuteronomy 4 verse 29 But from there you will seek the Lord your God, and you will find him, if you search after him with all your heart and with all your soul. Proverbs 8 verse 17 I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. Psalm 9 verse 10 And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Matthew 7 verse 7 Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Psalm 27 verse 8 You have said, Seek my face. My heart says to you, Your face, Lord, do I seek. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11 Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. Psalm 63 verse 1 A Psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Psalm 34 verse 10 The young lions suffer want and hunger, 
But those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Colossians 3 verse 1 If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Psalm 14 verse 2 The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Psalm 119 verse 2 Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart. Isaiah 55 verse 6 Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Psalm 105 verse 4 Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Matthew 7 verses 7 to 8 Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Isaiah 55 verses 6 to 7 Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. James 4 verse 8 Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Luke 11 verses 9 to 10 And I tell you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. Amos 5 verse 4 for thus says the Lord to the house of Israel, Seek me and live. Lamentations 3 verse 25 The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. Acts 17 verse 27 That they should seek God, and perhaps feel their way toward him and find him. Yet he is actually not far from each one of us. Zephaniah 2 verse 3 Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land, who do his just commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you may be hidden on the day of the anger of the Lord. Psalm 119 verse 10 With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. Psalm 34 verse 4 I sought the Lord, 
and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. 2 Chronicles 15 verse 2 And he went out to meet Asa and said to him, Hear me, Asa and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 25. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death therefore what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness which is idolatry. Matthew 13 verses 44 to 46 The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who, on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Psalm 119 verse 45 And I shall walk in a wide place, for I have sought your precepts. Psalm 40 verse 16 But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. Psalm 27 verse 4 One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. Romans 3 verses 10 to 11 As it is written, None is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks for God. 1 Chronicles 28 verse 9 And you, Solomon my son, know the God of your father and serve him with a whole heart and with a willing mind, for the Lord searches all hearts and understands every plan and thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you, but if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. Revelation 1 verses 1 to 20 The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, 
and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ephesians 6 verse 10 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 3 verse 11 No one understands, no one seeks for God. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. John 17 verse 3 And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. John 5 verse 30 I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Luke 19 verse 10 For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Zechariah 8 verses 20 to 23 Thus says the Lord of hosts, People shall yet come, even the inhabitants of many cities. The inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go at once to entreat the favor of the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I myself am going. Many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to entreat the favor of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days ten men from the nations of every tongue shall take hold of the robe of a Jew, saying, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Amos 5 verse 14 Seek good and not evil, that you may live, and so the Lord the God of hosts will be with you as you have said. Jeremiah 29 verses 12 to 14 Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. 
Psalm 37 verse 4 Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Job 5 verses 8 to 9 As for me, I would seek God, and to God would I commit my cause, who does great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. 1 Timothy 2 verse 4 Who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth? Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, Grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 2 For he says, In a favorable time I listened to you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Acts 17 verses 26 to 27 and he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place, that they should seek God and perhaps feel their way toward him and find him. Yet he is actually not far from each one of us. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Luke 12, verse 31. Instead, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Amos 5, verses 4 to 6. For thus says the Lord to the house of Israel, Seek me and live, but do not seek Bethel, and do not enter into Gilgal or cross over to Beersheba. For Gilgal shall surely go into exile, and Bethel shall come to nothing. Seek the Lord and live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and a devour, with none to quench it for Bethel. Hosea 10 verse 12 Sow for yourselves righteousness, reap steadfast love, Break up your fallow ground, for it is the time to seek the Lord, that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. Jeremiah 29 verses 12 to 13 Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart.
Isaiah 65 verse 1 I was ready to be sought by those who did not ask for me. I was ready to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, Here I am, here I am, to a nation that was not called by my name. Proverbs 28 verse 5 Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Proverbs 24 verse 14 Know that wisdom is such to your soul. If you find it, there will be a future, and your hope will not be cut off. Proverbs 18 verse 22 He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs 3 verse 6 In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 1 verse 7 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Psalm 34 verses 1 to 22 Of David, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, so that he drove him out, and he went away. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. Psalm 10 verse 4 In the pride of his face the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. 1 Chronicles 22 verse 19 now set your mind and heart to seek the Lord your God. Arise and build the sanctuary of the Lord God, so that the ark of the covenant of the Lord and the holy vessels of God may be brought into a house built for the name of the Lord. Colossians 4 verses 1 to 18 Masters, Treat your bondservants justly and fairly, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray also for us, that God may open to us a door for the word, to declare the mystery of Christ, on account of which I am in prison that I may make it clear which is how I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Colossians 3 verse 17 and whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Colossians 2 verses 1 to 23 For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you, and for those at Laodicea, and for all who have not seen me face to face that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. 
I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Acts 15 verses 16 to 17. After this I will return, and I will rebuild the tent of David that has fallen. I will rebuild its ruins, and I will restore it, that the remnant of mankind may seek the Lord, and all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord who makes these things. John 8 verse 32 And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Luke 11 verse 7 And he will answer from within, Do not bother me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. Matthew 13 verse 45 Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. Matthew 6 verse 10 Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Jeremiah 29 verses 11 to 14 for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. Proverbs 17 verse 27 Whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Proverbs 15 verse 14 The heart of him who is understanding seeks knowledge, but the mouths of fools feed on folly. Proverbs 3 verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Psalm 139 verses 1 to 2 To the choir master A Psalm of David O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. 2 Chronicles 30 verses 18 to 20 For a majority of the people, many of them from Ephraim, Manasseh, Issachar, and Zebulun, had not cleansed themselves yet they ate the Passover otherwise than is prescribed. 
For Hezekiah had prayed for them, saying, May the good Lord pardon everyone who sets his heart to seek God, the Lord, the God of his fathers, even though not according to the sanctuary's rules of cleanness. And the Lord heard Hezekiah and healed the people. Second Chronicles 15 verses 12 to 15. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, the God of their fathers, with all their heart and with all their soul, but that whoever would not seek the Lord, the God of Israel, should be put to death, whether young or old, man or woman. They swore an oath to the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with horns. And all Judah rejoiced over the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and had sought him with their whole desire, and he was found by them, and the Lord gave them rest all around. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Ephesians 1 verse 17 That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. John 10 verse 10 The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Luke 15 verse 8 Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? Matthew 13 verses 45 to 46 Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who, on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Matthew 13 verse 44 the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Amos 3 verse 7 For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants the prophets. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 13 And we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. 2 Chronicles 9 verse 29 Now the rest of the Acts of Solomon, from first to last, are they not written in the history of Nathan the prophet, and in the prophecy of Ahijah the Shilonite, and in the visions of Iddo the seer concerning Jeroboam the son of Nebat? 1 Samuel 9 verse 9 Formerly in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, he said, Come, let us go to the seer, for today's prophet was formerly called a seer. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 29 Now the acts of King David, from first to last, are written in the chronicles of Samuel the seer, and in the chronicles of Nathan the prophet, and in the Chronicles of Gad the Seer. 2 Chronicles 
12, verse 15. Now the acts of Rehoboam, from first to last, are they not written in the chronicles of Shemaiah the prophet and of Iddo the seer? There were continual wars between Rehoboam and Jeroboam. 2 Peter 1 verse 21 For no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. 2 Chronicles 33 verse 19 And his prayer, and how God was moved by his entreaty, and all his sin and his faithlessness, and the sites on which he built high places and set up the ashram and the images, before he humbled himself, behold, they are written in the chronicles of the seers. Deuteronomy 4 verse 2 You shall not add to the word that I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you. Revelation 22 verses 18 to 19 I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and for training in righteousness. 2 Chronicles 35 verse 15 The singers, the sons of Azaph, were in their place according to the command of David and Azaph and Heman and Jeduthun the king's seer, and the gatekeepers were at each gate. They did not need to depart from their service, for their brothers the Levites prepared for them. Joshua 10 verse 13 And the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, until the nation took vengeance on their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? The sun stopped in the midst of heaven and did not hurry to set for about a whole day. Ephesians 3 verse 3 How the mystery was made known to me by revelation as I have written briefly. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13 and we also thank God constantly for this, that when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but as what it really is, the word of God, which is at work in you believers. Psalm 19 verse 7 The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. 2 Chronicles 13 verse 22 The rest of the acts of Abijah, his ways and his sayings, are written in the story of the prophet Iddo. 2 Samuel 24 verse 11 and when David arose in the morning, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Gad, David's seer, saying, 1 Samuel 9 verse 11 As they went up the hill to the city, they met young women coming out to draw water and said to them, Is the seer here? 
Jude 1 verse 14. It was also about these that Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied, saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his holy ones. Numbers 23:19. God is not man, that he should lie, or a son of man, that he should change his mind. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not fulfill it? John 21, verse 25. Now there are also many other things that Jesus did. Were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Jeremiah 23, verse 2. Therefore thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who care for my people, you have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for your evil deeds, declares the Lord. 2 Chronicles 29, verse 30. And Hezekiah the king and the officials commanded the Levites to sing praises to the Lord with the words of David and of Azaph the seer. And they sang praises with gladness, and they bowed down and worshipped. 1 Chronicles 26, verse 28. Also all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Nut, and Joab the son of Zeruiah had dedicated all dedicated gifts, were in the care of Shelemoth and his brothers. 1 Chronicles 9 verse 22 All these, who were chosen as gatekeepers of the thresholds, were 212. They were enrolled by genealogies in their villages. David and Samuel the seer established them in their office of trust. 2 Timothy 3 verse 15 And how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 30, verse 10. Who say to the seers, Do not see, and to the prophets, Do not prophesy to us what is right. Speak to us smooth things, prophesy illusions. 1 Chronicles 25, verse 5. All these were the sons of Heman the king's seer, according to the promise of God to exalt him. For God had given him in fourteen sons and three daughters. Numbers 21.14 Therefore it is said in the book of the wars of the Lord, Waheb and Sipha, and the valleys of the Arnon. Revelation 22, verse 19. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. Luke 1, verse 37. For nothing will be impossible with God. Matthew 2, verse 23. And he went and lived in a city called Nazareth, so that what was spoken by the prophets might be fulfilled, that he would be called a Nazarene. Amos 7, verse 12. And Amaziah said to Amos, O seer, go, flee away to the land of Judah, 
and eat bread there and prophesy there. Isaiah 29 verse 10 For the Lord has poured out upon you a spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes, the prophets, and covered your heads, the seers. 1 Chronicles 21 verse 9 And the Lord spoke to God, David's seer, saying, 2 Kings 17 verse 13 Yet the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes in accordance with all the law that I commanded your fathers and that I sent to you by my servants the prophets. 1 Kings 11 verse 41 Now the rest of the acts of Solomon and all that he did and his wisdom are they not written in the book of the acts of Solomon? 2 Samuel 15 verse 27 The king also said to Zadok the priest Are you not a seer? Go back to the city in peace with your two sons, Ahamaz your son, and Jonathan the son of Abiathar. Revelation 22 verse 18 I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. Colossians 4 verse 16 And when this letter has been read among you, have it also read in the church of the Laodiceans, and see that you also read the letter from Laodicea. Mark 13 verses 1 to 37 And as he came out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, Teacher, what wonderful stones and what wonderful buildings. And Jesus said to him, Do you see these great buildings? There will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when all these things are about to be accomplished? And Jesus began to say to them, See that no one leads you astray. Micah 3 verse 7 The seers shall be disgraced, and the diviners put to shame. They shall all cover their lips. For there is no answer from God. Isaiah 6 verses 1 to 13 In the year that King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim. Each had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the foundations of the threshold shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me. For I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. 
2 Chronicles 29 verse 25 And he stationed the Levites in the house of the Lord with cymbals, harps, and lyres, according to the commandment of David, and of Gad the king's seer, and of Nathan the prophet. For the commandment was from the Lord through his prophets. 2 Chronicles 26, verse 22 Now the rest of the Acts of Isaiah, from first to last, Isaiah the prophet the son of Amoz wrote. 2 Chronicles 19, verse 2 But Jehu the son of Hanani the seer went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord? Because of this, wrath has gone out against you from the Lord. 2 Chronicles 16 verse 10 Then Asa was angry with the seer and put him in the stocks in prison, for he was in a rage with him because of this. And Asa inflicted cruelties upon some of the people at the same time. 1 Samuel 9 verse 19 Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Go up before me to the high place, for today you shall eat with me, and in the morning I will let you go and will tell you all that is on your mind. 1 Samuel 9 verse 18 Then Saul approached Samuel in the gate and said, Tell me where is the house of the seer? 1 Samuel 9 verses 18 to 19 Then Saul approached Samuel in the gate and said, Tell me where is the house of the seer? Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Go up before me to the high place, for today you shall eat with me, and in the morning I will let you go and will tell you all that is on your mind. Leviticus 20 verse 6 If a person turns to mediums and necromancers, pouring after them, I will set my face against that person, and will cut him off from among his people. Leviticus 19 verse 31 Do not turn to mediums or necromancers. Do not seek them out, and so make yourselves unclean by them. I am the Lord your God. Revelation 22 verse 2 through the middle of the street of the city, also on either side of the river, the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. 2 Corinthians 11 verses 14 to 15. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. Acts 16 verses 16 to 18 As we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners much gain by fortune-telling. She followed Paul and us, crying out, These men are servants of the Most High God, who proclaim to you the way of salvation. And this she kept doing for many days. Paul, having become greatly annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. Amos 
5 verses 1 to 27. Hear this word that I take up over you in lamentation, O house of Israel. Fallen, no more to rise, is the virgin Israel, forsaken on her land, with none to raise her up. For thus says the Lord God, The city that went out a thousand shall have a hundred left, and that which went out a hundred shall have ten left to the house of Israel. For thus says the Lord to the house of Israel, Seek me and live, but do not seek Bethel, and do not enter into Gilgal or cross over to Beersheba. For Gilgal shall surely go into exile, and Bethel shall come to nothing. Daniel 11 verses 1 to 45 And as for me, in the first year of Darius the Mede, I stood up to confirm and strengthen him. And now I will show you the truth. Behold, three more kings shall arise in Persia, and a fourth shall be far richer than all of them. And when he has become strong through his riches, he shall stir up all against the kingdom of Greece. Then a mighty king shall arise, who shall rule with great dominion and do as he wills. And as soon as he has arisen, his kingdom shall be broken and divided toward the four winds of heaven, but not to his posterity, nor according to the authority with which he ruled. For his kingdom shall be plucked up and go to others besides these. Then the king of the south shall be strong, but one of his princes shall be stronger than he and shall rule, and his authority shall be a great authority. Daniel 9 verses 1 to 27 In the first year of Darius the son of Ahasuerus, by descent of Mede, who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, perceived in the books the number of years that, according to the word of the Lord to Jeremiah the prophet, must pass before the end of the desolations of Jerusalem, namely, seventy years. Then I turn my face to the Lord God, seeking him by prayer and pleas for mercy with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and made confession, saying, O Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments. We have sinned and done wrong and acted wickedly and rebelled. Turning aside from your commandments and rules. Isaiah 8 verse 19 And when they say to you, Inquire of the mediums and the necromancers who chirp and mutter. Should not a people inquire of their God? Should they inquire of the dead on behalf of the living? Second Chronicles 33 verses 18 to 19 Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh and his prayer to his God and the words of the seers who spoke to him in the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. Behold, they are in the chronicles of the kings of Israel, and his prayer, and how God was moved by his entreaty, and all his sin and his faithlessness, and the sites on which he built high places and set up the ashram and the images, before he humbled himself, behold, they are written in the chronicles of the seers. Second Chronicles 33 verse 18 Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh, and his prayer to his God, 
and the words of the seers who spoke to him in the name of the Lord, the God of Israel, behold, they are in the chronicles of the kings of Israel. Second Chronicles 26 verse 2 He built Allah and restored it to Judah after the king slept with his fathers. Second Chronicles 16 verse 7 at that time Hanani the seer came to Asa king of Judah and said to him, Because you relied on the king of Syria and did not rely on the Lord your God, the army of the king of Syria has escaped you. 1 Samuel 9 verse 2 And he had a son whose name was Saul, a handsome young man. There was not a man among the people of Israel more handsome than he. From his shoulders upward, he was taller than any of the people. Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 to 12 There shall not be found among you anyone who burns his son or his daughter as an offering. Anyone who practices divination or tells fortunes or interprets omens, or a sorcerer or a charmer or a medium or a necromancer or one who inquires of the dead, for whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God is driving them out before you. Leviticus 20 verse 27 A man or a woman who is a medium or a necromancer shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Revelation 22 verse 15 Outside are the dogs and sorcerers and the sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters, and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Galatians 5 verses 19 to 21 Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Mark 16 verse 16 Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, 
but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Micah 5 verse 12 And I will cut off sorceries from your hand, and you shall have no more tellers of fortunes. Daniel 5 verse 11 There is a man in your kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. In the days of your father, light and understanding and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods were found in him, and King Nebuchadnezzar, your father, your father, the king made him chief of the magicians, enchanters, Chaldeans, and astrologers. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 2 so I have provided for the house of my God, so far as I was able, the gold for the things of gold, the silver for the things of silver, and the bronze for the things of bronze, the iron for the things of iron, and wood for the things of wood. Besides great quantities of onyx and stones for setting, antimony, colored stones, all sorts of precious stones and marble. 1 Chronicles 19 verse 2 And David said, I will deal kindly with Hanan the son of Nosh, for his father dealt kindly with me. So David sent messengers to console him concerning his father. And David's servants came to the land of the Ammonites to Hanan to console him. 1 Chronicles 12 verse 15 These are the men who crossed the Jordan in the first month, when it was overflowing all its banks, and put to flight all those in the valleys, to the east and to the west. 1 Chronicles 9 verse 29 Others of them were appointed over the furniture and over all the holy utensils, also over the fine flour, the wine, the oil, the incense, and the spices. 2 Kings 21 verse 6 and he burned his son as an offering, and used fortune-telling and omens, and dealt with mediums and with necromancers. He did much evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger. 1 Kings 17 verse 13 And Elijah said to her, Do not fear, go and do as you have said. But first make me a little cake of it and bring it to me, and afterward make something for yourself and your son. 1 Kings 17 verse 1 Now Elijah the Tishbite of Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives before whom I stand, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. 1 Samuel 24 verse 11 See, my father, see the corner of your robe in my hand. For by the fact that I cut off the corner of your robe and did not kill you, you may know and see that there is no wrong or treason in my hands. I have not sinned against you, though you haunt my life to take it. 1 Samuel 24 verse 2 
Then Saul took 3,000 chosen men out of all Israel and went to seek David and his men in front of the wild goat's rocks. 1 Samuel 24 verse 1 When Saul returned from following the Philistines, he was told, Behold, David is in the wilderness of Angedi. 1 Samuel 15 verse 27 As Samuel turned to go away, Saul seized the skirt of his robe, and it tore. 1 Samuel 15 verse 1 And Samuel said to Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint you king over his people Israel. Now therefore listen to the words of the Lord. Leviticus 19 verse 26 You shall not eat any flesh with the blood in it. You shall not interpret omens or tell fortunes. Matthew 12 verse 25 Knowing their thoughts, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste and no city or house divided against itself will stand. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 I appeal to you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. Jude 1 verse 19 It is these who cause divisions, worldly people, devoid of the Spirit. Nehemiah 13 verses 23 to 30 In those days also I saw the Jews who had married women of Ashdod, Ammon, and Moab. And half of their children spoke the language of Ashdod, and they could not speak the language of Judah, but only the language of each people. And I confronted them and cursed them and beat some of them and pulled out their hair. And I made them take an oath in the name of God, saying, You shall not give your daughters to their sons, or take their daughters for your sons or for yourselves. Did not Solomon king of Israel sin on account of such women? Among the many nations there was no king like him, and he was beloved by his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, foreign women made even him to sin. Shall we then listen to you and do all this great evil and act treacherously against our God by marrying foreign women? Galatians 3 verse 28 There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Acts 17 verse 26 And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place. Galatians 2 verses 14 to 16 but when I saw that their conduct was not in step with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas before them all, If you, though a Jew, live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you force the Gentiles to live like Jews? We ourselves are Jews by birth and not Gentile sinners. Yet we know that a person is not justified by works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. So we also have believed in Christ Jesus, 
In order to be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law, because by works of the law no one will be justified. Romans 16 verse 17 I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. John 17 verse 21 That they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Romans 10 verses 12 to 13 For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Colossians 3 verse 11 Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Titus 3 verses 10 to 11 As for a person who stirs up division, after warning him once and then twice, have nothing more to do with him, knowing that such a person is warped and sinful, he is self-condemned. Revelation 7 verse 9 After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands. Romans 2 verse 11 For God shows no partiality. Ephesians 2 verses 1 to 22 And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved. Galatians 2 colon 1 dash 3 colon 29 Then after 14 years I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along with me. I went up because of a revelation and set before them, though privately before those who seemed influential, the gospel that I proclaim among the Gentiles in order to make sure I was not running or had not run in vain. But even Titus, who was with me, was not forced to be circumcised, though he was a Greek. Yet, because of false brothers secretly brought in woe slipped in to spy out our freedom that we have in Christ Jesus, so that they might bring us into slavery to them, we did not yield in submission, even for a moment, so that the truth of the gospel might be preserved for you. Mark 12, verse 31. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. 
1 John 2 verse 11 But whoever hates his brother is in the darkness and walks in the darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. James 2 verses 1 to 26 My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, you sit here in a good place, while you say to the poor man, you stand over there, or sit down at my feet, have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to those who love him? 1 Timothy 5 verse 21 in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus and of the elect angels, I charge you to keep these rules without prejudging, doing nothing from partiality. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 13 For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body Jews or Greeks, slaves or free and all were made to drink of one spirit. 1 Corinthians 1 verses 1 to 31 Paul, called by the will of God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus and our brother Sosthenes, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints together with all those who in every place call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that was given you in Christ Jesus that in every way you are enriched in him in all speech and all knowledge. Romans 1 verse 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. John 7 verse 24 Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Matthew 28 verse 19 Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Exodus 22 verse 21 You shall not wrong a sojourner or oppress him, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. Proverbs 24 verse 23 These also are sayings of the wise. Partiality in judging is not good. Proverbs 10 verse 3 The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Nehemiah 13 verses 1 to 31 On that day they read from the book of Moses in the hearing of the people. And in it was found written that no Ammonite or Moabite should ever enter the assembly of God, for they did not meet the people of Israel with bread and water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them, yet our God turned the curse into a blessing. 
As soon as the people heard the law, they separated from Israel all those of foreign descent. Now before this, Eliashib the priest, who was appointed over the chambers of the house of our God, and who is related to Tobiah, prepared for Tobiah a large chamber where they had previously put the grain offering, the frankincense, the vessels, and the tithes of grain, wine, and oil, which were given by commandment to the Levites, singers, and gatekeepers, and the contributions for the priests. Genesis 1 verses 26 to 27 Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Colossians 3 verse 25 For the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. Galatians 5 verse 20 Idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Romans 1 verse 22 Claiming to be wise, they became fools. John 4 verses 1 to 54 Now when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, although Jesus himself did not baptize, but only his disciples, he left Judea and departed again for Galilee, and he had to pass through Samaria. So he came to a town of Samaria called Sitar, near the field that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Deuteronomy 32 verses 7 to 8 Remember the days of old, Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will show you, your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High gave to the nations their inheritance, when he divided mankind, he fixed the borders of the peoples according to the number of the sons of God. Revelation 14 verse 6 then I saw another angel flying directly overhead with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. Colossians 2 verses 1 to 23 For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you and for those at Laodicea, and for all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. 
Ephesians 6 verse 9. Masters, do the same to them, and stop your threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and that there is no partiality with him. John 10 verse 16. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. Matthew 10 verses 5 to 6. These twelve Jesus sent out, instructing them, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Deuteronomy 23 verses 1 to 25. No one whose testicles are crushed or whose male organ is cut off shall enter the assembly of the Lord. No one born of a forbidden union may enter the assembly of the Lord. Even to the tenth generation, none of his descendants may enter the assembly of the Lord. No Ammonite or Moabite may enter the assembly of the Lord. Even to the tenth generation, none of them may enter the assembly of the Lord forever, because they did not meet you with bread and with water on the way when you came out of Egypt, and because they hired against you Balaam the son of Beer from Pether of Mesopotamia to curse you. But the Lord your God would not listen to Balaam. Instead, the Lord your God turned the curse into a blessing for you, because the Lord your God loved you. Romans 8 verse 31 What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Matthew 25 verses 1 to 46. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. Numbers 12 colon 1 dash 16. Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Cushite woman whom he had married, for he had married a Cushite woman. And they said, Has the Lord indeed spoken only through Moses? Has he not spoken through us also? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek, more than all people who were on the face of the earth. And suddenly the Lord said to Moses and to Aaron and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the tent of meeting. And the three of them came out. And the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and stood at the entrance of the tent and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forward. Matthew 7 verse 12 So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Revelation 5 verses 9 to 10. And they sing a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation, and you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Isaiah 56 verses 1 to 12. Thus says the Lord, Keep justice and do righteousness, 
for soon my salvation will come and my righteousness be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this and the son of man who holds it fast, who keeps the Sabbath, not profaning it, and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Let not the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord say, The Lord will surely separate me from his people. And let not the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus says the Lord to the eunuchs who keep my Sabbaths, who choose the things that please me and hold fast my covenant, I will give in my house and within my walls a monument and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Exodus 12 verses 48 to 49. If a stranger shall sojourn with you and would keep the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised. Then he may come near and keep it. He shall be as a native of the land. But no uncircumcised person shall eat of it. There shall be one law for the native and for the stranger who sojourns among you. 1 John 4 verses 19 to 21 We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brother. 1 John 3 verses 15 to 16 Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. By this we know, love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. 1 Peter 5 verses 6 to 2 Peter 2 colon 2 Humble yourselves, Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. 1 Timothy 6 verses 4 to 5. He is puffed up with conceit and understands nothing. He has an unhealthy craving for controversy and for quarrels about words, which produce envy, dissension, slander, evil suspicions, and constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and deprived of the truth. Imagining that godliness is a means of gain. Colossians 3 verses 10 to 14 And have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and 
If one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Philippians 1, 17 to 4, 19. The former proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, but thinking to afflict me in my imprisonment. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed, and in that I rejoice. Yes, and I will rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ this will turn out for my deliverance, as it is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at all ashamed. But that with full courage now, as always Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Ephesians 3 verses 6 to 9 This mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given me by the working of his power. To me, though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God, who created all things. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 17 Therefore go out from their midst, and be separate from them, says the Lord, and touch no unclean thing, then I will welcome you. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 13 Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Romans 12 colon 3 dash 16 colon 18 For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them, if prophecy, in proportion to our faith, if service, in our serving, the one who teaches, in his teaching. Romans 9 verses 1 to 33 I am speaking the truth in Christi and not lying. My conscience bears me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my brothers, my kinsmen according to the flesh. They are Israelites, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenant, the giving of the law, the worship and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from their race, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is God over all, blessed forever. Amen. Romans 2 colon 28 dash 3 colon 9 For no one is a Jew who is merely one outwardly, nor is circumcision outward and physical. 
But a Jew is one inwardly, and circumcision is a matter of the heart, by the spirit, not by the letter. His praise is not from man, but from God. Then what advantage has the Jew? Or what is the value of circumcision? Much in every way. To begin with, the Jews were entrusted with the oracles of God. What if some were unfaithful? Does their faithlessness nullify the faithfulness of God? Acts 26 verses 1 to 32. So Agrippa said to Paul, You have permission to speak for yourself. Then Paul stretched out his hand and made his defense. I consider myself fortunate that it is before you, King Agrippa, I am going to make my defense today against all the accusations of the Jews, especially because you are familiar with all the customs and controversies of the Jews. Therefore, I beg you to listen to me patiently. My manner of life from my youth, spent from the beginning among my own nation and in Jerusalem, is known by all the Jews. They have known for a long time, if they are willing to testify, that according to the strictest party of our religion I have lived as a Pharisee. Acts 16 verses 1 to 40 Paul came also to Derb and to Lystra. A disciple was there, named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brothers at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went on their way through the cities, they delivered to them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. Acts 10 colon 1 dash 11 colon 30. At Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of what was known as the Italian cohort, a devout man who feared God with all his household, gave alms generously to the people, and prayed continually to God. About the ninth hour of the day he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God come in and say to him, Cornelius. And he stared at him in terror and said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, Your prayers and your alms have ascended as a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa and bring one Simon, who is called Peter. Acts 6, 2-7-7 And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. Acts 2 verses 5 to 11 Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, 
because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear, each of us in his own native language? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia. John 13 verse 34 A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. Matthew 23, 32-27, Fill up, then, the measure of your fathers. You serpents, you brood of vipers, how are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and persecute from town to town, so that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth. From the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah the son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly, I say to you, all these things will come upon this generation. Micah 3 colon 5 dash 6 colon 12 Thus says the Lord concerning the prophets who lead my people astray, who cry peace when they have something to eat, but declare war against him who puts nothing into their mouths. Therefore it shall be night to you, without vision and darkness to you, without divination. The sun shall go down on the prophets, and the day shall be black over them. The seers shall be disgraced, and the diviners put to shame. They shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer from God. But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might, to declare to Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Hear this, you heads of the house of Jacob and rulers of the house of Israel, who detest justice and make crooked all that is straight. Ezekiel 47 verse 22 You shall allot it as an inheritance for yourselves and for the sojourners who reside among you and have had children among you. They shall be to you as native-born children of Israel. With you they shall be allotted an inheritance among the tribes of Israel. Jeremiah 13 verses 23 to 27 Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then also you can do good who are accustomed to do evil. I will scatter you like chaff driven by the wind from the desert. This is your lot, the portion I have measured out to you, declares the Lord, because you have forgotten me and trusted in lies. I myself will lift up your skirts over your face, and your shame will be seen. I have seen your abominations, your adulteries and names, your lewd whorings on the hills and the field. Woe to you, O Jerusalem! How long will it be before you are made clean? Isaiah 51 colon 14 dash 53 colon 5 He who is bowed down shall speedily be released. He shall not die and go down to the pit, neither shall his bread be lacking. I am the Lord your God, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar the Lord of hosts is his name. And I have put my words in your mouth and covered you in the shadow of my hand, 
establishing the heavens and laying the foundations of the earth and saying to Zion, you are my people. Wake yourself, wake yourself, stand up. O Jerusalem, you who have drunk from the hand of the Lord the cup of his wrath, who have drunk to the dregs the bowl, the cup of staggering. There is none to guide her among all the sons she has borne. There is none to take her by the hand among all the sons she has brought up. Proverbs 29 verses 13 to 26. The poor man and the oppressor meet together. The Lord gives light to the eyes of both. If a king faithfully judges the poor, his throne will be established forever. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself brings shame to his mother. When the wicked increase, transgression increases, but the righteous will look upon their downfall. Discipline your son, and he will give you rest. He will give delight to your heart. Proverbs 18 verse 1 Whoever isolates himself seeks his own desire. He breaks out against all sound judgment. Proverbs 17 verse 2 A servant who deals wisely will rule over a son who acts shamefully and will share the inheritance as one of the brothers. Proverbs 16 verses 3 to 18 Commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will be established. The Lord has made everything for its purpose, even the wicked for the day of trouble. Everyone who is arrogant in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured, he will not go unpunished. By steadfast love and faithfulness iniquity is atoned for, and by the fear of the Lord one turns away from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Proverbs 15 verses 25 to 29. The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but maintains the widow's boundaries. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but gracious words are pure. Whoever is greedy for unjust gain troubles his own household, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Proverbs 11 verses 2 to 4 When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. Proverbs 10 verses 22 to 24. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Doing wrong is like a joke to a fool, but wisdom is pleasure to a man of understanding. What the wicked dreads will come upon him, but the desire of the righteous will be granted. Ezra 10 verses 1 to 44 While Ezra prayed and made confession, weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, a very great assembly of men, women, and children gathered to him out of Israel, for the people wept bitterly. And Shechaniah the son of Jehiel, of the sons of Elam, addressed Ezra, 
We have broken faith with our God and have married foreign women from the peoples of the land. But even now there is hope for Israel in spite of this. Therefore, let us make a covenant with our God to put away all these wives and their children, according to the counsel of my Lord, and of those who tremble at the commandment of our God, and let it be done according to the law. Arise, for it is your task, and we are with you. Be strong and do it. Then Ezra arose and made the leading priests and Levites and all Israel take an oath that they would do as had been said. So they took the oath. Ezra 4 verses 1 to 24 Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the returned exiles were building a temple to the Lord, the God of Israel, they approached Zerubbabel and the heads of Bathar's houses and said to them, Let us build with you, for we worship your God as you do, and we have been sacrificing to him ever since the days of Esarhaddon king of Assyria who brought us here. But Zerubbabel, Jeshua, and the rest of the heads of Bathar's houses in Israel said to them, you have nothing to do with us in building a house to our God, but we alone will build to the Lord, the God of Israel. As King Cyrus, the king of Persia, has commanded us, then the people of the land discouraged the people of Judah and made them afraid to build and bribed counselors against them to frustrate their purpose. All the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Second Chronicles 19 verses 2 to 7 But Jehu the son of Hanani the seer went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord? Because of this, wrath has gone out against you from the Lord. Nevertheless, some good is found in you, for you destroyed the Ashroth out of the land, and have set your heart to seek God. Jehoshaphat lived at Jerusalem, and he went out again among the people, from Beersheba to the hill country of Ephraim, and brought them back to the Lord, the God of their fathers. He appointed judges in the land in all the fortified cities of Judah, city by city, and said to the judges, Consider what you do, for you judge not for man, but for the Lord. He is with you in giving judgment. 1 Kings 9 verses 1 to 28 as soon as Solomon had finished building the house of the Lord and the king's house and all that Solomon desired to build, the Lord appeared to Solomon a second time, as he had appeared to him at Gibeon. And the Lord said to him, I have heard your prayer and your plea, which you have made before me. I have consecrated this house that you have built, by putting my name there forever. My eyes and my heart will be there for all time. And as for you, if you will walk before me, as David your father walked, with integrity of heart and uprightness, doing according to all that I have commanded you, and keeping my statutes and my rules, then I will establish your royal throne over Israel forever. As I promised David your father, saying, You shall not lack a man on the throne of Israel. 1 Samuel 2, 8-6-21 He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. 
He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness, for not by might shall a man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, against them he will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth, he will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Then Elkanah went home to Ramah, and the boy was ministering to the Lord in the presence of Eli the priest. Now the sons of Eli were worthless men. They did not know the Lord. Judges 1 verses 1 to 36 After the death of Joshua, the people of Israel inquired of the Lord, who shall go up first for us against the Canaanites, to fight against them? The Lord said, Judah shall go up. Behold, I have given the land into his hand. And Judah said to Simeon his brother, Come up with me into the territory allotted to me, that we may fight against the Canaanites. And I likewise will go with you into the territory allotted to you. So Simeon went with him. Then Judah went up, and the Lord gave the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hand and they defeated ten thousand of them at Bezek. They found Adoni Bezek at Bezek and fought against him and defeated the Canaanites and the Perizzites. Deuteronomy 26 verses 1 to 19 When you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you for an inheritance and have taken possession of it and live in it, you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you harvest from your land that the Lord your God is giving you. And you shall put it in a basket, and you shall go to the place that the Lord your God will choose, to make his name to dwell there. And you shall go to the priest who is in office at that time and say to him, I declare today to the Lord your God that I have come into the land that the Lord swore to our fathers to give us. Then the priest shall take the basket from your hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God. And you shall make response before the Lord your God. A wandering Aramean was my father. And he went down into Egypt and sojourned there few in number, and there he became a nation, great, mighty, and populous. Deuteronomy 14 verse 2 For you are a people holy to the Lord your God, and the Lord has chosen you to be a people for his treasured possession, out of all the peoples who are on the face of the earth. Deuteronomy 7 verses 1 to 26 When the Lord your God brings you into the land that you are entering to take possession of it, and clears away many nations before you, the Hittites, the Jergeshites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations more numerous and mightier than you, and when the Lord your God gives them over to you, and you defeat them, then you must devote them to complete destruction. You shall make no covenant with them, and show no mercy to them. You shall not intermarry with them, giving your daughters to their sons, or taking their daughters for your sons. For they would turn away your sons from following me, to serve other gods. Then the anger of the Lord would be kindled against you, and he would destroy you quickly. But thus shall you deal with them. You shall break down their altars and dash in pieces their pillars and chop down their ashram and burn their carved images with fire. Numbers 15 15-30 
For the assembly, there shall be one statute for you, and for the stranger who sojourns with you, a statute forever throughout your generations. You and the sojourners shall be alike before the Lord. One law and one rule shall be for you, and for the stranger who sojourns with you. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, When you come into the land to which I bring you, and when you eat of the bread of the land, you shall present a contribution to the Lord. Leviticus 24:16-25:17 Whoever blasphemes the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him. The sojourner as well as the native, when he blasphemes the name, shall be put to death. Whoever takes a human life shall surely be put to death. Whoever takes an animal's life shall make it good, life for life. If anyone injures his neighbor, as he has done it shall be done to him. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Whatever injury he has given a person shall be given to him. Leviticus 20 verses 24 to 27. But I have said to you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it to you to possess, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has separated you from the peoples. You shall therefore separate the clean beast from the unclean, and the unclean bird from the clean. You shall not make yourselves detestable by beast, or by bird, or by anything with which the ground crawls, which I have set apart for you to hold unclean. You shall be holy to me. For I, the Lord, am holy and have separated you from the peoples, that you should be mine. A man or a woman who is a medium or a necromancer shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Leviticus 19 verses 33 to 34 when a stranger sojourns with you in your land, you shall not do him wrong. You shall treat the stranger who sojourns with you as the native among you, and you shall love him as yourself, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Exodus 33 verse 16 for how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? Is it not in your going with us, so that we are distinct, I and your people, from every other people on the face of the earth? Exodus 21 verse 16 Whoever steals a man and sells him, and anyone found in possession of him, shall be put to death. Genesis 15 verses 13 to 14 Then the Lord said to Abram, Know for certain that your offspring will be sojourners in a land that is not theirs and will be servants there, and they will be afflicted for four hundred years. But I will bring judgment on the nation that they serve, and afterward they shall come out with great possessions. Isaiah 58, 3-65-6 Why have we fasted, and you see it not? Why have we humbled ourselves, and you take no knowledge of it? Behold, in the day of your fast you seek your own pleasure, and oppress all your workers. Behold, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to hit with a wicked fist. 
Fasting like yours this day will not make your voice to be heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose a day for a person to humble himself? Is it to bow down his head like a reed and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will you call this a fast and a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I choose to loose the bonds of wickedness to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see the naked, to cover him and not to hide yourself from your own flesh? Revelation 1 colon 1 dash 3 colon 22 the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it for the time is near john to the seven churches that are in asia grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from jesus christ the faithful witness the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Psalm 133, 1-136, 26. A Song of Ascents of David. Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. A Song of Ascents Come, bless the Lord all you servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. Psalm 12, 1-14-7 To the choir master, according to the Sheminah, a psalm of David, Save, O Lord. For the godly one is gone, for the faithful have vanished from among the children of man. Everyone utters lies to his neighbor, with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts, those who say, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are with us who is master over us. Because the poor are plundered, because the needy groan, I will now rise, says the Lord. I will place him in the safety for which he longs. Genesis 6, 1-12-20 When man began to multiply on the face of the land and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive, and they took as their wives any they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be one hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward. When the sons of God came into the daughters of man, and they bore children to them, these were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. 
The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. Hebrews 4 verses 15 to 16 For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Galatians 5 verse 1 for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Romans 6 verses 11 to 14 so you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions. Do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and your members to God as instruments for righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 2 Corinthians 10 verses 3 to 5 For though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 18 Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Ephesians 5 verse 18 And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery but be filled with the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 16 to 17 Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. James 5 verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 23 to 24 
Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful, he will surely do it. Colossians 3 verse 5 Put to death therefore what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1 Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit, bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God. Proverbs 28 verse 13 Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. Hebrews 13 verse 4 Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 3 to 5 For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Titus 3 verse 5 he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. John 8 verse 34 Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, Everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. Matthew 5 verse 28 But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. James 1 verses 13 to 14. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Ephesians 4 verse 22 To put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life, and is corrupt through deceitful desires. Matthew 5 verse 30 And if your right hand causes you to sin, 
cut it off and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body go into hell. Job 31 verses 1 to 3. I have made a covenant with my eyes. How then could I gaze at a virgin? What would be my portion from God above and my heritage from the Almighty on high? Is not calamity for the unrighteous and disaster for the workers of iniquity? Colossians 2 verses 20 to 23. If with Christ you died to the elemental spirits of the world, why, as if you were still alive in the world, do you submit to regulations do not handle, do not taste, do not touch, referring to things that all perish as they are used, according to human precepts and teachings? These have indeed an appearance of wisdom in promoting self-made religion and asceticism and severity to the body, but they are of no value in stopping the indulgence of the flesh. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Romans 3 verse 23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Isaiah 55 verse 7 Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 for God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Colossians 2 verses 1 to 23 For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you, and for those at Laodicea, and for all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments, for though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 to 11 Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Leviticus 19 verse 28 
You shall not make any cuts on your body for the dead or tattoo yourselves. I am the Lord. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Galatians 5 verse 23 Gentleness, self-control, against such things there is no law. Galatians 5 verses 19 to 21 Now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. 1 Corinthians 6 Verse 12. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? Romans 12 verses 1 to 2 I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 6 verse 6 We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. Mark 12 verse 31 The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Proverbs 22 verse 6 Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Psalm 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. 1 John 1 verses 8 to 9 If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Colossians 3 verse 19 Husbands, love your wives, and do not be harsh with them. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 25 If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. 
for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Ephesians 5 verse 22 Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. Ephesians 2 verse 8 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Galatians 6 verse 1 Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 10 Nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Romans 7 verses 14 to 25 For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of the flesh, sold under sin. For I do not understand my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law that it is good. So now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells in me, that is, in my flesh. For I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. Romans 5 verses 3 to 5 Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, 
but in order that the world might be saved through him. Mark 5 verses 2 to 5 And when Jesus had stepped out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. He lived among the tombs, and no one could bind him any more, not even with a chain, for he had often been bound with shackles and chains, but he wrenched the chains apart, and he broke the shackles in pieces. No one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always crying out and cutting himself with stones. Matthew 22 verse 39 and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 6 verse 34 Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 3 verses 1 to 26 For behold, the Lord God of hosts is taking away from Jerusalem and from Judah support and supply, all support of bread and all support of water, the mighty man and the soldier, the judge and the prophet, the diviner and the elder, the captain of fifty and the man of rank, the counselor and the skillful magician and the expert in charms. And I will make boys their princes, and infants shall rule over them. And the people will oppress one another, every one his fellow, and every one his neighbor. The youth will be insolent to the elder, and the despised to the honorable. Proverbs 20 verse 1 Wine is a mocker, Strong drink a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. 1 Kings 18 verses 24 to 29 And you call upon the name of your God, and I will call upon the name of the Lord, and the God who answers by fire, he is God. And all the people answered, it is well spoken. Then Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose for yourselves one bowl and prepare it first, for you are many, and call upon the name of your God, but put no fire to it. And they took the bowl that was given them, and they prepared it and called upon the name of Baal from morning until noon, saying, O Baal, answer us. But there was no voice, and no one answered. And they limped around the altar that they had made. And at noon Elijah mocked them, saying, Cry aloud, for he is a god. Either he is musing, or he is relieving himself, or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their custom with swords and lances until the blood gushed out upon them. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 Be sober-minded, be watchful. 
Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. James 1 verses 14 to 15. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Titus 2 verse 12 Training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Colossians 4 verses 1 to 18. Masters, treat your bondservants justly and fairly, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray also for us, that God may open to us a door for the word, to declare the mystery of Christ, on account of which I am in prison that I may make it clear, which is how I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Ephesians 4 verse 31 Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Ephesians 4 verse 29 Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouth, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Galatians 6 verse 2 Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 5. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Romans 12 verse 18. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Romans 6 verse 16 do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? Matthew 5 verse 32 But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife except on the ground of sexual immorality, makes her commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Psalm 139 verse 14 I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. Romans 5 verse 8 
But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 1 Peter 4 verses 12 to 14 Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice insofar as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. Ephesians 2 verse 8 For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. 1 John 4 verses 19 to 21 We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brother. Matthew 5 verses 1 to 48. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Romans 12 verses 3 for by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. Mark 12 verse 31 The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Titus 2 verse 12 Training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20 For you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Psalm 139 verses 13 to 14 For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Genesis 1 verse 26 Then God said, 
Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. John 14 verse 15 If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Romans 12 verse 19 Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. John 6 verse 37 All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 12 Not that we dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who are commending themselves, but when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding. Romans 15 verse 7 Therefore welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. Genesis 1 verse 27 So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Ephesians 5 verse 33 However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. John 1 verse 12 But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Galatians 5 verse 22 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Colossians 3 verses 12 to 14 Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and, if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 5 But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, 
ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power. Avoid such people. Luke 12 verse 7 Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, you are of more value than many sparrows. Psalm 118 verse 8 It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. 1 Samuel 16 verse 7 But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Genesis 4 verse 7 if you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ephesians 1 verse 6 To the praise of His glorious grace, with which He has blessed us in the Beloved. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 11 but now I am writing to you not to associate with anyone who bears the name of brother if he is guilty of sexual immorality or greed, or is an idolater, reviler, drunkard, or swindler not even to eat with such a one. Romans 14 verse 1 As for the one who is weak in faith, Welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. Colossians 3 verse 12 Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. Romans 2 verse 11 for God shows no partiality. Isaiah 43 verse 1 But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Romans 14 verse 3 Let not the one who eats despise the one who abstains, and let not the one who abstains pass judgment on the one who eats, for God has welcomed him. Romans 8 verse 31 What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25 
and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. Matthew 5 verses 38 to 39 You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 1 verse 6 And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Romans 14 verse 10 Why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. Proverbs 14, verse 26. In the fear of the Lord, one has strong confidence, and his children will have a refuge. Revelation 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Ephesians 1 verses 4 to 6 Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the Beloved. Mark 12, verse 30. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Matthew 6, verse 26. Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? 
1 John 4 verse 17. By this is love perfected with us, so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment, because as he is so also are we in this world. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control. Galatians 4 verse 28 Now you, brothers, like Isaac, are children of promise. John 14 verse 26 but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Psalm 91 verse 2 I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. 2 John 1 verses 10 to 11 If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house or give him any greeting, for whoever greets him takes part in his wicked works. Ephesians 5 verse 29 For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. 1 Corinthians 4 verses 3 to 5 But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself, for I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore do not pronounce judgment before the time before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive his commendation from God. 2 Timothy 4 verses 1 to 2 I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. Galatians 5 verse 1 For freedom Christ has set us free, Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Matthew 16 verses 24 to 25 Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 7 verses 1 to 29 Judge not, that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged, and with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye? But do not notice the log that is in your own eye. Or how can you say to your brother, Let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. 
Matthew 6 verses 25 to 32. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Ephesians 1 verse 5 He predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will. Galatians 3 verse 29 And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Luke 23 verses 39 to 43 one of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Ezekiel 18 verse 20 The soul whose sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Genesis 9 verses 5 to 6 And for your lifeblood I will require a reckoning. From every beast I will require it, and from man. From his fellow man, I will require a reckoning for the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 28 God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not to bring to nothing things that are. Romans 3 verse 23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Psalm 46 verse 1 To the choir master of the sons of Korah according to all a moth a song God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. James 2 verse 23 And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness, and he was called a friend of God. 
2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Acts 10 verses 34 to 35 So Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. John 15 verses 13 to 15 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. Luke 10 verse 27 And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22 verse 39 And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Zechariah 9 verse 16 On that day the Lord their God will save them as the flock of his people for like the jewels of a crown they shall shine on his land. Exodus 22 verses 2 to 3 If a thief is found breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there shall be no blood guilt for him. But if the sun has risen on him, there shall be blood guilt for him. He shall surely pay. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. 1 Peter 5 verse 6 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 11 to 15 Therefore encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, Help the weak, be patient with them all. See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. Philippians 4 verse 18 I have received full payment and more. I am well supplied having received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. Ephesians 1 verses 5 to 7 
He predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. John 14 verses 11 to 12 Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Luke 7 verse 28 I tell you, among those born of women none is greater than John. Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. Luke 6 verses 30 to 35 Give to everyone who begs from you, and from one who takes away your goods do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. Matthew 16 verse 24 Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Malachi 3 verses 16 to 18 Then those who feared the Lord spoke with one another. The Lord paid attention and heard them, and a book of remembrance was written before him of those who feared the Lord and esteemed his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, in the day when I make up my treasured possession and I will spare them as a man spares his son who serves him. Then once more you shall see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. Zechariah 2 verse 8 For thus said the Lord of hosts, After his glory sent me to the nations who plundered you, for he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. Zephaniah 3 verses 16 to 19 On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, let not your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. I will gather those of you who mourn for the festival, so that you will no longer suffer reproach. Behold, at that time I will deal with all your oppressors, and I will save the lame and gather the outcast, and I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. 1 Timothy 4 verse 16 Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this, for by so doing you will save both yourself and your hearers. Romans 12 verse 3 For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think with sober judgment, 
each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5 Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Or do you not realize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail to meet the test? Galatians 6 verse 3 For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Proverbs 20 verse 5 The purpose in a man's heart is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? Psalm 26 verse 2 Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and my mind. 2 Peter 1 verse 3 His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. Proverbs 21 verse 2 Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. Matthew 7 verses 1 to 5 Judge not, that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged, and with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is the log in your own eye. You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Proverbs 14 verse 8 The wisdom of the prudent is to discern his way, but the folly of fools is deceiving. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Ephesians 4 verses 22 to 24 To put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Matthew 16 verses 24 to 25 Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Lamentations 3 verses 37 to 40 Who has spoken and it came to pass, unless the Lord has commanded it? Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that good and bad come? Why should a living man complain, a man, about the punishment of his sins? Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 
For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. 1 Timothy 3 verse 9 They must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. Romans 12 verse 2 do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Psalm 139 verse 14 I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Psalm 139, verse 13. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. Psalm 139, verses 13 to 16. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 12 not that we dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who are commending themselves, but when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 16 to 17 Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Proverbs 4 verse 23 
Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. Galatians 6 verse 7 Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. 1 John 4 verses 19 to 21 We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Romans 5 verse 8 But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am your God, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Romans 1 verse 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Luke 1 verse 37 For nothing will be impossible with God. 1 John 1 verse 9 if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Romans 6 verse 11 so you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. Genesis 3 verse 7 then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves loincloths. Revelation 1 verses 1 to 20 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. 
John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 25. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Proverbs 3 verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Psalm 8 verses 1 to 9 To the choir master, according to the Giddah, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is true, Pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 1 to 16 And I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling, and my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 1 to 23 But I, brothers, could not address you as spiritual people, 
but as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. And even now you are not yet ready, for you are still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? For when one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos, are you not being merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you believe, as the Lord assigned to each. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Isaiah 43 verse 1. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Colossians 2 verses 1 to 23 For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you, and for those at Laodicea, and for all who have not seen me face to face that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. For though I am absent in body, Yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. Matthew 22, verse 39. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Psalm 51, verse 3. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Psalm 8 verse 6 You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. 1 John 4 verse 8 Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. Matthew 19, verse 26. But Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Micah 6, verse 8. He has told you, O oh man, what is good? And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 6 So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 So, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 17 If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. 
John 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Proverbs 11 verse 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. Galatians 5 verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. John 3 verses 16 to 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Luke 15 verse 10 Just so I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Colossians 2 verse 10 And you have been filled in him who is the head of all rule and authority. Philippians 3 verses 13 to 14 Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3 verses 22 to 25 But the scripture imprisoned everything under sin, so that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Now before faith came, we were held captive under the law, imprisoned until the coming faith would be revealed. So then, the law was our guardian until Christ came, in order that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 1 to 20 When one of you has a grievance against another, does he dare go to law before the unrighteous instead of the saints? Or do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you incompetent to try trivial cases? Do you not know that we are to judge angels? How much more, then, matters pertaining to this life? So if you have such cases, why do you lay them before those who have no standing in the church? I say this to your shame. Can it be that there is no one among you wise enough to settle a dispute between the brothers? 1 Corinthians 4 verses 3 to 5 But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself. For I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive his commendation from God. Romans 8 verse 31 What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, 
Who can be against us? John 8 verse 32 And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Lamentations 3 verse 40 Let us test and examine our ways, and return to the Lord. Genesis 1 verses 26 to 27 Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Ephesians 4 verses 1 to 32 I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call one Lord, one faith, one baptism. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 25 Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. Acts 17 verses 10 to 11. The brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea, and when they arrived they went into the Jewish synagogue. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Proverbs 26 verse 12 Do you see a man who is wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Proverbs 3 verse 6 In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. 1 Corinthians 11 verses 28 to 29. Let a person examine himself, then, and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body eats and drinks judgment on himself. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, and before you were born I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1 Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his Son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the Spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus 
Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. Matthew 16, verse 6. Jesus said to them, Watch and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Revelation 3, verse 17. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing, not realizing that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. 1 John 1 verse 8 If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. 1 Corinthians 4 verses 1 to 5 This is how one should regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself. For I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore do not pronounce judgment before the time before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive his commendation from God. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 4 For when one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos, are you not being merely human? Proverbs 18 verse 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality. 2 Timothy 1 verses 6 to 7 For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands, for God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Psalm 10 verse 4 In the pride of his face the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 12 not that we dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who are commending themselves, but when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Romans 8 verse 7 For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. Acts 17 verses 10 to 11 the brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea, and when they arrived they went into the Jewish synagogue. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, 
examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Ephesians 4 verses 31 to 32 let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Galatians 5 verses 19 to 21 Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Mark 7 verses 20 to 23 And he said, What comes out of a person is what defile him. For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately sick. Who can understand it? Proverbs 11 verse 2 When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. James 5 verse 16 Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Colossians 3 verse 5 Put to death therefore what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. John 3 verses 16 to 17 for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Luke 18 verses 9 to 14. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, 
or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Luke 14 verse 26 if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Matthew 6 verse 21 For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. 2 Timothy 4 verse 3 For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. 2 Timothy 3 verse 2 For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Against such things there is no law. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 5. Or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Romans 12 verse 3 For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. Proverbs 26 verse 12 Do you see a man who is wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. James 3 verse 14 But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. James 1 verse 20 For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Hebrews 10 verse 22 let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Philippians 2 verse 2 Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. 
Ephesians 4 verses 29 to 32. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Galatians 6 verse 14 but far be it from me to boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 For we walk by faith, not by sight. Acts 20 verse 35 in all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Matthew 5 verse 42 Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Matthew 5 verse 16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Proverbs 13 verse 10 By insolence comes nothing but strife, but with those who take advice is wisdom. Genesis 2 verse 24 Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 15 And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Romans 13 verse 14 But put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Romans 8 verse 2 For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. 1 Peter 2 verse 2 like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation. James 4 verse 2 You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have, because you do not ask. Hebrews 13 verse 17 Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 
Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Philippians 4 verse 19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 1 verse 6 And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5 verse 25 Husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Galatians 6 verse 2 Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 5 verse 22 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Galatians 5 verse 16 But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 Each one must give as he is decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 3 For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 2 and if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 So, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 24 Let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. Romans 13 verses 1 to 14 Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good and you will receive his approval, for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, 
for he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 5 verse 1 Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his Son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the Spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. Acts 2 verse 42 And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Acts 1 verse 8 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. John 8 verse 44 You are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Luke 9 verse 23 And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily and follow me. Matthew 6 verse 2 Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. Micah 6 verse 8 He has told you, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? Isaiah 53 verses 4 to 6 Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every Onetto his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Proverbs 28 verse 26 Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. Proverbs 18 verse 1 Whoever isolates himself seeks his own desire, 
he breaks out against all sound judgment. Proverbs 8 verse 13 The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil, pride and arrogance, and the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. 1 Peter 5 verse 6 Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. James 3 verse 16 For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Romans 8 verses 1 to 39 There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do. By sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh, in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. John 5 verse 44 How can you believe, when you receive glory from one another, and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God. John 3 verse 2 This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. 1 Peter 2 verse 11 Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh which wage war against your soul. James 1 verse 18 Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. James 1 verse 2 Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. Hebrews 13 verse 5 Keep your life free from love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews 12 verse 2 Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Titus 1 verse 8 But hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. Titus 1 verse 2 In hope of eternal life, which God, who never lies, promised before the ages began. 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 5 But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, 
disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power. Avoid such people. 1 Timothy 6 verses 6 to 8 But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, with these we will be content. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10 For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 6 so then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. Colossians 3 verse 3 For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Colossians 2 verse 10 And you have been filled in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. Philippians 4 verse 2 I entreat you, Odia, and I entreat Sintish to agree in the Lord. Philippians 2 verses 12 to 13 Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Philippians 2 verse 4 Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Ephesians 6 verse 2 Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. James 4 verses 1 to 3 What causes quarrels and what causes fights among you? Is it not this, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have, because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. James 3 verse 14 But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. James 3 verse 16 for where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. 1 John 4 verses 19 to 21 We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brother. 
Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Romans 12 verses 1 to 2 I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Matthew 6 verses 1 to 34 Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, Sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. Mark 12, verse 31. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Mark 12, verse 30. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Matthew 16, verse 24. Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 5 verses 1 to 48 Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. 3 John 1 verse 9 I have written something to the church, but Diatrephs, who likes to put himself first, does not acknowledge our authority. Luke 9 verse 23 And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the holy scriptures concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations.
John 5 verse 44. How can you believe when you receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? Matthew 7 verses 1 to 29. Judge not, that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged, and with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. Genesis 1 verse 27 so God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Luke 18 verse 14 I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Matthew 5 verse 5 Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Isaiah 14 verse 13 You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. Above the stars of God I will set my throne on high. I will sit on the mount of assembly in the far reaches of the north. 2 Kings 1 verses 1 to 18 After the death of Ahab, Moab rebelled against Israel. Now Ahaziah fell through the lattice in his upper chamber in Samaria and lay sick. So he sent messengers, telling them, Go, inquire of Baalzebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover from this sickness. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say to them, is it because there is no God in Israel that you are going to inquire of Baal-zebub, the god of Ekron? Now therefore thus says the Lord, You shall not come down from the bed to which you have gone up, but you shall surely die. So Elijah went. The messengers returned to the king, and he said to them, Why have you returned? 2 Samuel 1 verses 1 to 27 After the death of Saul, when David had returned from striking down the Amalekites, David remained two days in Ziklag. And on the third day, behold, a man came from Saul's camp, with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. And when he came to David, he fell to the ground and paid homage. 
David said to him, Where do you come from? And he said to him, I have escaped from the camp of Israel. And David said to him, How did it go? Tell me. And he answered, The people fled from the battle, and also many of the people have fallen and are dead. And Saul and his son Jonathan are also dead. Then David said to the young man who told him, How do you know that Saul and his son Jonathan are dead? 1 John 2 verses 1 to 29 My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. Whoever says I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. Hebrews 12 verses 6 to 7 For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? John 3 verses 6 to 7 That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, You must be born again. John 3 verses 1 to 36 Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Matthew 22 verse 40 on these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Matthew 16 verses 24 to 25 Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 7 verses 21 to 23 Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and cast out demons in your name, and do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Matthew 23 verse 37 O Jerusalem, Jerusalem! 
the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing. Ruth 1 verses 1 to 22. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land, and a man of Bethlehem in Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Malan and Chilion. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem in Judah. They went into the country of Moab and remained there. But Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. These took Moabite wives. The name of the one was Orpah and the name of the other Ruth. They lived there about ten years, and both Malin and Chilion died so that the woman was left without her two sons and her husband. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Hebrews 10 verses 35 to 36. Therefore do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. Hebrews 13 verse 6. So we can confidently say, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Psalm 139 verses 13 to 14 For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. Psalm 27 verse 3 Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. Proverbs 3 verse 6 In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. 1 John 4 verse 18 there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Ephesians 4 verse 29 Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. Psalm 138 verse 8 The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me, your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Philippians 1 verse 6 and I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 4 verses 4 to 7 
Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, Rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Hebrews 4 verse 16 Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Matthew 6 verse 34 Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Proverbs 3 verse 26 for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 3 to 5 and I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling, and my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Romans 8 verse 28 and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. James 1 verse 12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Luke 14 verses 8 to 11 When you are invited by someone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in a place of honor, lest someone more distinguished than you be invited by him, and he who invited you both will come and say to you, Give your place to this person. And then you will begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, Go and sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes he may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 16 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. 
He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Proverbs 29 verse 25 The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Proverbs 3 colon 1 dash 26 colon 28 My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments for length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you. Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Hebrews 10 verse 35 Therefore do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 to 13 If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believer as an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Luke 6 verse 31 And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. Jeremiah 17 verses 7 to 8 Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water, that sends out its roots by the stream, and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green, and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. 
John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Romans 12 verse 3 For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. 2 Timothy 2 verse 1 You then, my child, be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3 verse 3 For we are the circumcision, who worship by the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus, and put no confidence in the flesh. 1 John 5 verse 14 and this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Acts 1 verse 8 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Psalm 139 verse 14 I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. Psalm 20 verse 7 Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. 2 Peter 1 verse 3 His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. 2 Timothy 1 verse 12 Which is why I suffer as I do, but I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he is able to guard until that day what has been entrusted to me. 1 Peter 3 verse 10 For whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Philippians 2 verse 14 Do all things without grumbling or disputing. Hebrews 11 verses 1 to 40 Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old received their commendation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. By faith Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain, through which he was commended as righteous, God commending him by accepting his gifts. And through his faith, though he died, he still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not found, because God had taken him. Now before he was taken he was commended as having pleased God. Psalm 27 verses 1 to 2 Of David The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. 
Romans 8 verses 1 to 39. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do. By sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh, in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. 1 John 5 verses 14 to 15 and this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. Proverbs 14 verse 26 In the fear of the Lord one has strong confidence, and his children will have a refuge. Psalm 42, verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, my salvation. Jeremiah 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. Romans 8 verse 30 And those whom he predestined he also called, and those whom he called he also justified, and those whom he justified he also glorified. Romans 8 verse 32 You did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Nehemiah 6 verse 16 And when all our enemies heard of it, all the nations around us were afraid and fell greatly in their own esteem, for they perceived that this work had been accomplished with the help of our God. Hebrews 13 verse 5 Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Ephesians 3 verse 12 In whom we have boldness and access with confidence through our faith in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Matthew 19 verse 26 But Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. John 13 verses 34 to 35 a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. 
By this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Isaiah 32 verse 17 And the effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness, quietness, and trust forever. Psalm 118 verse 6 The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Galatians 5 verse 10 I have confidence in the Lord that you will take no other view, and the one who is troubling you will bear the penalty, whoever he is. Proverbs 28 verse 1 The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Psalm 50 verse 15 And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Habakkuk 3 verses 17 to 19. Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food. The flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places to the choir master with stringed instruments. Ephesians 2 verse 9 Not a result of works, so that no one may boast. 1 Peter 3 verse 9 Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless. For to this you are called, that you may obtain a blessing. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 5 verse 8 But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Proverbs 28 verse 26 Whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. Deuteronomy 32 verse 10 He found him in a desert land, and in the howling waste of the wilderness. He encircled him, he cared for him, he kept him as the apple of his eye. Proverbs 3 verses 24 to 26 If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror or of the ruin of the wicked. When it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. 2 Corinthians 3 verses 4 to 6 Such is the confidence that we have through Christ toward God. 
Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything is coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God, who has made us sufficient to be ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. John 15 verse 26 But when the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. 1 John 4 verse 4 Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Proverbs 25 verse 28 A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control. Titus 1 verse 8 But hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. Galatians 5 verses 19 to 25 Now the works of the flesh are evident sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. 1 Peter 4 verse 7 the end of all things is at hand. Therefore be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Proverbs 16 verse 32. Whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. 2 Peter 1 verses 5 to 6. For this very reason, Make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness. Titus 2 verse 6 Likewise, urge the younger men to be self-controlled. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 27 But I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. 
Romans 12 verse 19 Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Proverbs 29 verse 11 A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. Galatians 5 verse 23 Gentleness, self-control, against such things there is no law. James 1 verse 19 Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Titus 2 verses 11 to 12 for the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. Romans 12 verses 1 to 2. I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 25 Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. 2 Peter 1 verses 5 to 7 For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. James 1 verse 20 for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Proverbs 25 verse 26 Like a muddied spring or a polluted fountain is a righteous man who gives way before the wicked. Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 68 And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. 
1 Corinthians 9 verses 24 to 27. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air. But I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. Matthew 26 verses 52 to 54. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place. For all who take this sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my Father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then should the scriptures be fulfilled, that it must be so? Job 31 verse 1 I have made a covenant with my eyes. How then could I gaze at a virgin? 1 Corinthians 7 verse 5 Do not deprive one another, except perhaps by agreement for a limited time, that you may devote yourselves to prayer, but then come together again, so that Satan may not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 6 So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. Matthew 5 verses 38 to 39 You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Proverbs 18 verse 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. Ephesians 4 verse 26 Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Titus 2 verses 11 to 14 For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age waiting for our blessed hope. The appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. Matthew 6 verse 33 but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. 1 Corinthians 9 verses 24 to 25 Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. 2 John 1 verse 8 Watch yourselves, so that you may not lose what we have worked for, but may win a full reward. Proverbs 4 verse 27 Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 9 
Be not quick in your spirit to become angry, for anger lodges in the heart of fools. Proverbs 12 verse 16 The vexation of a fool is known at once, but the prudent ignores an insult. 2 Peter 1 verses 5 to 8 For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. John 14 verse 15 if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Genesis 4 verses 1 to 26 Now Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again, she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground, and Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering, but for Cain and his offering he had no regard. So Cain was very angry, and his face fell. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 5 Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Romans 12 verse 1 I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Titus 2 verse 12 Training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled upright, and godly lives in the present age. Proverbs 14 verse 16 One who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is reckless and careless. Psalm 144 verse 1 Of David Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Psalm 141 verse 3 Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. James 1 verses 19 to 20 Know this, my beloved brothers. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 
All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Romans 13 verse 14 But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. James 1 verse 12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. Titus 2 verse 2 Older men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. 2 Timothy 3 verse 3 Heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 9 But if they cannot exercise self-control, they should marry. For it is better to marry than to burn with passion. Romans 8 verse 5 For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. John 14 verse 26 But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Hebrews 4 verse 15 For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. Acts 24 verse 25 And as he reasoned about righteousness and self-control and the coming judgment, Felix was alarmed and said, Go away for the present. When I get an opportunity, one will summon you. Matthew 4 verses 1 to 25 then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Exodus 20 verses 1 to 26 And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image 
or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. Titus 3 verse 2 To speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. Matthew 4 verse 7 Jesus said to him, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. 1 Timothy 3 verse 2 Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. Ephesians 5 verse 18 And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery but be filled with the Spirit. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Matthew 26 verse 41 Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. 1 Peter 1 verse 13 Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Luke 10 verse 27 And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 5 verse 19 Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5 verses 1 to 48 Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Leviticus 26 verses 1 to 46 you shall not make idols for yourselves, or erect an image or pillar. And you shall not set up a figured stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If you walk in my statutes and observe my commandments and do them, then I will give you your rains in their season and the land shall yield its increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your threshing shall last to the time of the grape harvest, and the grape harvest shall last to the time for sowing. And you shall eat your bread to the full and dwell in your land securely. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 4 that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor. 
Romans 13 verse 4 For he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Romans 6 verse 16 Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? John 18 verses 1 to 40 when Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples across the brook Kidron, where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, for Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas, having procured a band of soldiers and some officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees went there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that would happen to him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. Luke 10 verses 30 to 37. Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers, who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Matthew 5 verse 28 But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Ezekiel 11 verses 19 to 20 And I will give them one heart, and a new spirit I will put within them. I will remove the heart of stone from their flesh, and give them a heart of flesh, that they may walk in my statutes and keep my rules and obey them. And they shall be my people, and I will be their God. 1 Samuel 13 verses 22 to 23. So on the day of the battle there was neither sword nor spear found in the hand of any of the people with Saul and Jonathan, but Saul and Jonathan his son had them. And the garrison of the Philistines went out to the pass of Michmash. Exodus 22 verses 1 to 31. If a man steals an ox or a sheep, and kills it or sells it, he shall repay five oxen for an ox, and four sheep for a sheep. If a thief is found breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there shall be no blood guilt for him. But if the sun has risen on him, there shall be blood guilt for him. He shall surely pay. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. If the stolen beast is found alive in his possession, whether it is an ox or a donkey or a sheep, he shall pay double. 
If a man causes a field or a vineyard to be grazed over, or lets his beast loose and it feeds in another man's field, he shall make restitution from the best in his own field and in his own vineyard. Revelation 1 verses 1 to 20 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 6 to 8 So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet the hope of salvation. Matthew 15 verses 1 to 39 Then Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat. He answered them, and why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? For God commanded, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, If anyone tells his father or his mother, what you would have gained from me is given to God. 1 John 2 verse 16 For all that is in the world the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of Levi's not from the Father but is from the world. 1 Peter 1 verse 14 As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. Titus 2 verse 5 To be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Proverbs 29 verses 8 to 22 Scoffers set a city aflame, but the wise turn away wrath. If a wise man has an argument with a fool, the fool only rages and laughs, and there is no quiet. Bloodthirsty men hate one who is blameless and seek the life of the upright. A fool gives full vent to his spirit, but a wise man quietly holds it back. If a ruler listens to falsehood, all his officials will be wicked. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. 1 Peter 2 verses 18 to 23 
Servants, be subject to your masters with all respect, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the unjust. For this is a gracious thing, when, mindful of God, one endures sorrows while suffering unjustly. For what credit is it if, when you sin and are beaten for it, you endure? But if when you do good and suffer for it, you endure, this is a gracious thing in the sight of God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you might follow in his steps. He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. James 1 verses 19 to 21 Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Hebrews 12 verse 2 Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12 verse 1 Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 5 But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power. Avoid such people. 2 Timothy 2 verses 3 to 4 Share in suffering as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier gets entangled in civilian pursuits, since his aim is to please the one who enlisted him. 1 Timothy 2 verse 9 Likewise also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel, with modesty and self-control, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly attire. Exodus 22 verses 2 to 3 If a thief is found breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there shall be no blood guilt for him. But if the sun has risen on him, there shall be blood guilt for him. He shall surely pay. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. Psalm 144 verse 1 Of David, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Romans 12 verse 19 Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, 
I will repay, says the Lord. Luke 22, verse 36. He said to them, But now let the one who has a money bag take it, and likewise a knapsack. And let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. Luke 11, verse 21. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are safe. Psalm 82, verse 4. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. 1 Timothy 5, verse 8. But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Romans 13, verse 4. For he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Matthew 5, verses 38 to 39. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Proverbs 25 verse 26 Like a muddied spring or a polluted fountain is a righteous man who gives way before the wicked. Matthew 26 verses 52 to 54 Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my Father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then should the scriptures be fulfilled, that it must be so? Nehemiah 4 verses 17 to 18 Who were building on the wall? Those who carried burdens were loaded in such a way that each labored on the work with one hand and held his weapon with the other. And each of the builders had his sword strapped at his side while he built. The man who sounded the trumpet was beside me. Matthew 5 verse 39 But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Romans 12 verse 18 If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Numbers 31 colon 3 So Moses spoke to the people, saying, Arm men from among you for the war, that they may go against Midian to execute the Lord's vengeance on Midian. Exodus 22 verses 1 to 31 If a man steals an ox or a sheep and kills it or sells it, he shall repay five oxen for an ox, and four sheep for a sheep. If a thief is found breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there shall be no blood guilt for him. But if the sun has risen on him, there shall be blood guilt for him. He shall surely pay. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. If the stolen beast is found alive in his possession, whether it is an ox or a donkey or a sheep, he shall pay double. If a man causes a 
field or vineyard to be grazed over, or lets his beast loose and it feeds in another man's field. He shall make restitution from the best in his own field and in his own vineyard. Romans 12 verse 17 Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. Proverbs 24 verse 11 Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Exodus 22 verse 2 If a thief is found breaking in and is struck so that he dies, there shall be no blood guilt for him. Genesis 9 verses 5 to 6 And for your lifeblood I will require a reckoning. From every beast I will require it, and from man. From his fellow man I will require a reckoning for the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Mark 3 verse 27 But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first finds the strong man. Then indeed he may plunder his house. Proverbs 20 verse 22 Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. Exodus 20 verse 13 You shall not murder. Nehemiah 4 verse 14 And I looked and arose and said to the nobles and to the officials and to the rest of the people, Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Matthew 26 Verse 52. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Romans 13 verses 1 to 14. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval, for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. 1 Peter 3 verse 9 Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless, for to this you are called, that you may obtain a blessing. Psalm 18 verse 34 
He trains my hands for war, so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. Esther 8 verse 11 Saying that the king allowed the Jews who were in every city to gather and defend their lives, to destroy, to kill, and to annihilate any armed force of any people or province that might attack them, children and women included, and to plunder their goods. Proverbs 24 verse 29 Do not say, I will do to him as he has done to me. I will pay the man back for what he has done. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. John 18 verses 10 to 11 then Simon Peter, having a sword, threw it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. So Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into its sheath. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father has given me? 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Luke 1 verse 37 for nothing will be impossible with God. Romans 13 verses 1 to 7 Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval, for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. Exodus 21 verses 24 to 25 Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, Burn for burn, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. Ezekiel 33 verse 11 Say to them, As I live, declares the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways. For why will you die, O house of Israel? Revelation 11 verses 1 to 19 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, 
and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. Exodus 22 verse 3 But if the sun has risen on him, there shall be blood guilt for him. He shall surely pay. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. Matthew 5 verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Proverbs 25 verses 21 to 22 if your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink, for you will heap burning coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. Matthew 5 verse 38 You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Nehemiah 4 verses 16 to 18 From that day on, half of my servants worked on construction, and half held the spears, shields, bows, and coats of mail. And the leaders stood behind the whole house of Judah, who were building on the wall. Those who carried burdens were loaded in such a way that each labored on the work with one hand and held his weapon with the other. And each of the builders had his sword strapped at his side while he built. The man who sounded the trumpet was beside me. Judges 5 verse 8 When new gods were chosen, then war was in the gate. Was shield or spear to be seen among 40,000 in Israel? Hebrews 12 verse 14 Strive for peace with everyone and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. 1 Samuel 25 verse 13 And David said to his men, every man strap on his sword, and every man of them strapped on his sword. David also strapped on his sword, and about 400 men went up after David, while 200 remained with the baggage. John 18 verse 10 Then Simon Peter, having a sword, threw it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Deuteronomy 19 verse 5 As when someone goes into the forest with his neighbor to cut wood, and his hand swings the axe to cut down a tree, and the head slips from the handle and strikes his neighbor so that he die she may flee to one of these cities and live. 1 Samuel 13 verses 19 to 20 Now there was no blacksmith to be found throughout all the land of Israel, for the Philistines said, lest the Hebrews make themselves swords or spears. But every one of the Israelites went down to the Philistines to sharpen his plowshare, his mattock, his axe, or his sickle. Exodus 21 verse 24 Eye for eye, tooth 
tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Luke 22 verses 35 to 39. And he said to them, When I set you out with no money bag or knapsack or sandals, did you lack anything? They said, Nothing. He said to them, But now let the one who has a money bag take it, and likewise a knapsack. And let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you that this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was numbered with the transgressors. For what is written about me has its fulfillment. And they said, Look, Lord, here are two swords. And he said to them, It is enough. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. Matthew 5 verse 44 But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Luke 22 verses 36 to 38 He said to them, But now let the one who has a money bag take it, and likewise a knapsack. And let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you that this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was numbered with the transgressors. For what is written about me has its fulfillment. And they said, Look, Lord, here are two swords. And he said to them, It is enough. Nehemiah 4 verse 17 Who were building on the wall? Those who carried burdens were loaded in such a way that each labored on the work with one hand and held his weapon with the other. Psalm 44 verses 6 to 7 For not in my bow do I trust, nor can my sword save me. But you have saved us from our foes and have put to shame those who hate us. John 14 verse 26 But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. 2 Chronicles 17 verse 10 And the fear of the Lord fell upon all the kingdoms of the lands that were around Judah, and they made no war against Jehoshaphat. Hebrews 13 verse 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. John 14 verse 15 If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Matthew 5 verse 19 Therefore whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Malachi 3 verse 6 For I the Lord do not change. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 20 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, 
that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Luke 10 verses 30 to 37. Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers, who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Luke 10 verse 27 And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. Deuteronomy 28 verses 47 to 48 Because you did not serve the Lord your God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, because of the abundance of all things, therefore you shall serve your enemies whom the Lord will send against you, in hunger and thirst, in nakedness and lacking everything. And he will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. Luke 22, verse 38. And they said, Look, Lord, here are two swords. And he said to them, It is enough. Numbers 1, colon 3. From twenty years old and upward, all in Israel who are able to go to war, you and Aaron shall list them, company by company. Psalm 82 verse 3 Give justice to the weak and the fatherless. Maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute. Nehemiah 4 verse 18 And each of the builders had his sword strapped at his side while he built. The man who sounded the trumpet was beside me. 1 Samuel 13 verses 22 to 23 So on the day of the battle there was neither sword nor sword found in the hand of any of the people with Saul and Jonathan, but Saul and Jonathan his son had them. And the garrison of the Philistines went out to the pass of Michmash. Isaiah 49 verse 25 For thus says the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken, and the prey of the tyrant be rescued. For I will contend with those who contend with you, and I will save your children. 1 John 3 verse 16 By this we know, love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11 
so that we would not be outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his designs. Romans 8 verse 2 For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. Matthew 4 verse 7 Jesus said to him, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Numbers 35,9-28 And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, When you cross the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall select cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the manslayer who kills any person without intent may flee there. The city shall be for you a refuge from the avenger, that the manslayer may not die until he stands before the congregation for judgment. And the cities that you give shall be your six cities of refuge, 1 Samuel 8 verse 11 He said, These will be the ways of the king who will reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them to his chariots and to be his horsemen and to run before his chariots. Matthew 5 verses 1 to 48 Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Acts 17 verses 10 to 11. The brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea, and when they arrived, they went into the Jewish synagogue. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Esther 8 verses 11 to 12, saying that the king allowed the Jews who were in every city to gather and defend their lives, to destroy, to kill, and to annihilate any armed force of any people or province that might attack them, children and women included, and to plunder their goods. On one day throughout all the provinces of King Ahasuerus, on the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month of Adar. Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 68 And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Exodus 20 verses 1 to 26 And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. 
You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. Second Chronicles 17 verses 1 to 19 Jehoshaphat his son reigned in his place and strengthened himself against Israel. He placed forces in all the fortified cities of Judah and set garrisons in the land of Judah and in the cities of Ephraim that Asa his father had captured. The Lord was with Jehoshaphat because he walked in the earlier ways of his father David. He did not seek the Baals, but sought the God of his father and walked in his commandments, and not according to the practices of Israel. Therefore the Lord established the kingdom in his hand. And all Judah brought tribute to Jehoshaphat, and he had great riches and honor. Genesis 4 verses 1 to 26 Now Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again, she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground, and Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering, but for Cain and his offering he had no regard. So Cain was very angry, and his face fell. Proverbs 3 verse 5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Matthew 5 verse 5 Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Matthew 5 verse 21 You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. Matthew 5 verse 4 Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 22 For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. Proverbs 25 verse 28 A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Luke 3 verse 14 Soldiers also asked him, And we, what shall we do? And he said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats or by false accusation, and be content with your wages. John 18 verse 11 So Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into its sheath. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father has given me? Joel 3 verse 10 Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. 
Let the weak say, I am a warrior. Revelation 19 verse 15 From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. Numbers 35,1-34 The Lord spoke to Moses in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Command the people of Israel to give to the Levites some of the inheritance of their possession as cities for them to dwell in. And you shall give to the Levites pasture lands around the cities. The cities shall be theirs to dwell in, and their pasture lands shall be for their cattle, and for their livestock, and for all their beasts. The pasture lands of the cities, which you shall give to the Levites, shall reach from the wall of the city outward a thousand cubits all around. And you shall measure outside the city, on the east side two thousand cubits, and on the south side two thousand cubits, and on the west side two thousand cubits, and on the north side two thousand cubits, the city being in the middle. This shall belong to them as pasture land for their cities. Nehemiah 4 verse 20 In the place where you hear the sound of the trumpet rally to us there, our God will fight for us. Luke 22, verse 50. And one of them struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. Romans 12, verse 3. For by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. Galatians 6 verse 3 For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 18 For it is not the one who commends himself who is approved, but the one whom the Lord commands. Luke 16, verse 15. And he said to them, You are those who justify yourselves before men, but God knows your hearts. For what is exalted among men is an abomination in the sight of God. 1 Peter 3 verses 3 to 4 Do not let your adorning be external the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry or the clothing you wear but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which in God's sight is very precious. Proverbs 21 verse 4 Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, are sin. Isaiah 2 verse 17 And the haughtiness of man shall be humbled, and the lofty pride of men shall be brought low, and the Lord alone will be exalted in that day. Proverbs 16, verse 5. Everyone who is arrogant in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured, he will not go unpunished. Proverbs 11, verses 2 to 13. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. 
Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless keeps his way straight, but the wicked falls by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright delivers them, but the treacherous are taken captive by their lust. Luke 14 verse 11 For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. James 4 verse 6 But he gives more grace. Therefore it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Proverbs 11 verse 2 When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. Proverbs 8 verse 13 The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil, pride and arrogance, and the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. Proverbs 29 verse 23 One's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. Proverbs 18 verse 12 Before destruction a man's heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. Jeremiah 9 verses 23 to 24. Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches. But let him who boasts boast in this, that he understands and knows me. That I am the Lord who practices steadfast love justice, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, declares the Lord. Psalm 147 verses 10 to 11. His delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of a man, but the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. Matthew 16 verses 24 to 25 Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Psalm 139 verses 13 to 14 For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 15 do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. 1 John 3 verse 1 See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 
For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Romans 8 verses 1 to 2 There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. Psalm 127 verses 3 to 5 Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Genesis 1 verses 26 to 27 Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Romans 8 verses 35 to 39 Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 7 verse 18 For I know that nothing good dwells in me, that is, in my flesh. For I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. Genesis 1 verse 27 So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female, he created them. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Mark 8 verse 34 and calling the crowd to him with his disciples, he said to them, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Ephesians 3 verses 17 to 21 So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith at you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do 
far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. John 14 verses 3 to 4 And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also, and you know the way to where I am going. James 4 verses 9 to 10 Be wretched and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 14 For we are not overextending ourselves as though we did not reach you. For we were the first to come all the way to you with the gospel of Christ. Romans 7 verse 24 Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Matthew 22 verse 39 And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Revelation 3 verse 17 For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing, not realizing that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. Acts 8 verse 9 But there was a man named Simon, who had previously practiced magic in the city and amazed the people of Samaria, saying that he himself was somebody great. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24 Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Proverbs 16 verses 13 to 24 Righteous lips are the delight of a king, and he loves him who speaks what is right. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, and a wise man will appease it. In the light of a king's face there is life, and his favor is like the clouds that bring the spring rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold? To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. The highway of the upright turns aside from evil. Whoever guards his way preserves his life. Proverbs 12 verse 18 There is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Colossians 2 verses 1 to 23 for I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you and for those at Laodicea and for all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, 
To reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I say this in order that no one may delude you with plausible arguments. For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Proverbs 28 verses 1 to 28. The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. When a land transgresses, it has many rulers, but with a man of understanding and knowledge, its stability will long continue. A poor man who oppresses the poor is a beating rain that leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law strive against them. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven, of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. Ecclesiastes 7 verses 1 to 29 A good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than the day of birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for this is the end of all mankind, and the living will lay it to heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness of face the heart is made glad. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better for a man to hear the rebuke of the wise than to hear the song of fools. 1 Peter 1 verses 10 to 12 Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be searched and inquired carefully, inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you, in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Matthew 26 verses 1 to 75 When Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said to his disciples, You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Then the chief priests 
And the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas, and plotted together in order to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. But they said, Not during the feast, lest there be an uproar among the people. Exodus 3 verses 1 to 3 now Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian, and he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. He looked, and behold, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside to see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. Proverbs 25 verses 1 to 28. These also are Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah king of Judah copied. It is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings is to search things out. As the heavens for height and the earth for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver, and the smith has material for a vessel. Take away the wicked from the presence of the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness.